From getting rid of the residency requirements to allowing officers to take home their squad cars, Memphis Police Director Mike Rawlings is not holding back about the things he wants to change at MPD. Local 24 political analyst Otis Sanford looks at a possible reason that Rawlings is willing to speak out. Here's his point of view. Memphis Police Director Mike Rawlings has become much more vocal lately about things he wants to change in his department. He is actively lobbying the city council to approve a take-home policy for squad cars and to put another referendum before city voters to do away with residency requirements for new officers. One reason for his stepped-up efforts to make these changes just might be the fact that Rollins plans to leave the job in less than a year and a half, and these changes would be a pretty good legacy to leave behind. Rollins is openly talking about his scheduled departure in April 2021 under the city's Deferred Retirement Option Plan, also known as the DROP program. Mayor Jim Strickland is talking about it also and says he will likely develop criteria for finding a new director sometime in mid-2020. One thing does seem almost certain. Rollins' replacement will be someone already with the department. That's because when the new director officially takes over, Strickland will only have about two and a half years left in his final term as mayor, which means it's unlikely that a candidate from another city would take the job and run the risk of being let go by a new mayor. But all of this is in the distant future. For now, Rollins is working overtime to put his stamp on the MPD. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.